All right, I'm gonna just do my own little tutorial on how to use the auto left function so I don't ever forget it. When you're in the POC 200, using the POS 180, you go to Applications, you go ahead and go to Theodolite, and in Theodolite, you have a bunch of different buttons on the bottom. The main thing you need to concern yourself about is just press the Theo button here. Press the Theo button. Now, usually what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your POS 180 is first of all set up over a staked point. You can see I have my laser on the ground there. I don't know if you can see it in the in the video, but basically you have your, your theoretically you wanna have your station set up over a specific point, usually a grid line or control point. And then what you go is you go into the eyepiece and you basically set your eyepiece to turn to another specific point on your job site. Usually that's a grid line or another control point. Once that's set and you know that your eyepiece is zoomed in on that point, all you go is you go to horizontal aperture uh, angle equals zero. And now it's obviously saying, okay, just warning you, you're setting up a new station. Yeah, sure, whatever. Set up a new station, you're now at zero. This uh, hold HA is kind of nice because let's say you set up the station and uh, you want to just say, okay, I know we want to be zero. I'm going to hold HA for now. I'm going to move my tool to exactly where I want to be. And once you know you're at the same spot you want to be, then you press okay. It's just a nice convenience. Anyway, so now you're at zero and you come over to your tool. And now your vertical, your vertical angle there, the VA, is already at about 90 degrees. That's what I have it set at. But if I move my tool up and down, that angle is going to go smaller and smaller as I get more cl close to uh, having the he head unit face upwards and it's also going to get greater and greater as I have it going downwards because the reason I can't change that is because the tool is already level itself. It's already level so it already theoretically is telling me my vertical angle. So I'll just bring this over here for a second so we can see what happens. So what we're going to see is I'm going to move my my head unit down a little bit and we're going to notice that the vertical angle definitely went up because I'm going lower. Okay, I go a little bit more. My vertical angle now is getting closer and closer to 360. And then when I get top, like almost to the top, you're going to notice I'm basically at zero. So it's a really good tool if you want to set up over a point. And let's say you just say, you know, I want to make sure I'm directly above that point and you want to put the laser on, just put direct read on there and the point will zoom straight up to the top of the concrete and you'll be able to see the upper point. You can transfer points that way, transfer control points, whatever you want to do. Now, horizontal aperture, so you'll notice that this is just telling you how far you've turned your tool since you last set up your station. So, if I just need to know to make sure that I'm going to go a 90 degree angle from that spot, I just keep turning and turning and turning it. I would probably use the knobs in this case to turn it more slowly until I got to the exact 90 degree angle that I needed. And once I get to that point, then I know that I have it. I can zoom in on my target, use the laser if I wanted to, and I'll be right there at that 90 degree angle, whatever I need. Most people use this functionality of the POC 200 to simply get yourself your grid points laid out um, but honestly if you're using this tool because of the convenience most people just go into reference line and they create a new station they get their points out there and then they do their offsets directly from that but yeah now we understand how to use the auto lights pretty simple the other the other uh, let me go into these other points for a second when I'm in Theodolite, all these others, this is just going to put my, uh, I believe that's an automatic leveler. Um, this is going to create your uh, slope to be a percentage instead of the actual degrees. And then, of course, you can measure your points if you're at a point that you want to measure and you want to see the distance from those points. So, um, still not sure what the CM really stands for. Most, most times I don't worry about that, but at least I can get my angles. So, there we go.